EOD Spartan Seb, playing as Adriox. Abumish, playing as Shipmaster. See what he's going for this time around. Could be the same thing. Oh, this grunt is suspicious, man. That grunt's going over here. No doubt. Yeah, he's doing the same thing again. Maybe not. Maybe just with one. Is this for the... No, it's definitely mini base steel. But he can accomplish a lot with just one grunt, right? Right? Like, these are fast. That's... It's more than fine. Spark is probably gonna go with some kind of hero build. Although he should probably go with some kind of raid camp build this time. Either way, here goes the mini base stealing grunt. And I think it's gonna get both the minis. I seriously doubt it can get both. It, it can get three of them. Right? But normally you get two because that's the time when... Oh. Yeah, Seb doesn't know, I forgot. <laughs> Unless he's sending this guy, this chopper, over here. Okay. Yeah, he's in for a big surprise. Abimush doesn't really want to pick up all three minis, I don't think. Two choppers, okay. So that's gonna take out one grunt. Nice one. Sentinel's helping even. Good job avoiding their fire here by EOD. I like it. You gonna see the cheese again? I suspect we should. But all the three grunts have died. Second power extractor. Only just now starting, uh, starting to upgrade. It was pretty much on time though. And there's a raid camp being made now. Oh, there's one already here. I don't suppose Abimosh is gonna actually make any, uh, any jump routes, right? Wait, how does Spartans and Sap have that much more power? What did this get spent on? These grunts have, have cloak? Nah. What did he spend on? They could delay the first generator by a lot or something. No, jump pack route versus jump pack route is gonna be a quick kill here. And there's choppers. So I guess EOD is in a pretty good position. He's also expanding on top of his already huge power lead. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Why would you upgrade all the harvesters? Evan was playing weird. Surely tier 2 is a more important goal. And these jump efforts also not quite doing too much. Attacking the sensor tower? It's not gonna help. I think EOD is making pretty quick work of him, to be honest. Like, this is just a massacre, to be honest. EOD already going tier 2, getting ready to make the Chosen, and then just double upgrading it. We got Abimosh is gonna have one power node, and that's pretty much it. Mini base disadvantage is gonna be negated very shortly, but it doesn't really matter too much. Probably save these choppers, they're pretty valuable later down the line. They can be healed up, that's pretty big. They're chosen on the way. 
And the upgrade should be ready to go as well. Or just, yeah, keep keep an eye on things with them. That's also fine. Although I think the grunts might get on top of them here. Uh-oh. That could be a, a smart play, just showing one and leaving the other here. <laughs> and now, now EOD knows the space is, is, is being grabbed. Uh, there's three of the jump pack groups here. Chosen down. Plasma rounds on the way. Left is Ranger, so yeah. It, tier 2 is definitely a Ranger Marauder mirror. That's how it usually goes. That's how it should go, at least. Engineer being made. Don't know about that. There's a lot of grunts. Either way, the Chosen should do a lot of work here. Oh yeah, it's found the grunts. Nice. A good spread. That will uh, buy a bit of time. All this being made now. get to beam all this very very nice save on these uh, drop units all the veterans he has saved Abbott just made the shipmaster a uh, hero the honor guard when it's invisibility that's pretty important actually it can take out the chosen pretty well if the engineer is killed there's certainly enough runs to do that this guy just needs the upgrades, like... Mercenary Rage is nice, but he only needs tier 2 upgrade as well. Oh, Locust! Nice. Marauder pretty much hard counters it though. Yeah, Avamash can save the Locust no problem. Oh, here comes the other card, nice. As long as the Chosen keeps fighting and uh, taking out the Rangers, this is more than fine. He can definitely kill that many Rangers, right? Oh man. Yeah, he is actually in a bit of a pickle here. Uh oh. Definitely not the right time to spam turrets on the main. Uh, he's actually just gonna try to get other bases. That's ambitious. Oh yeah, this one is toast. Better sell the buildings. Counter attack? I don't think so. This engineer has fully healed us up. And there's more where that stuff came from. Everyone just very suddenly exploded to 120 pop. Uh, sorry, uh, 80 pop. And uh, yeah, although it's mostly grunts, he's regaining a bit of control, and he can definitely take out the extra bases and keep his own. So I like this. Don't go to the main though, that's a bit ambitious. Shield gen is gonna buy a lot of time here. Unfortunate that the text is covering the shield, but you can kinda see that it's still got ways to go. Ooh, there's a bunch of weak ones! The Marauders are getting picked up, oh no! And the beam on the Chosen has to go under the shield, but already half, more than half dead! Man, is EOD gonna get knocked out by Happy Marsh? What the hell? Okay, the infantry is starting to crumble now, and the engineers have been killed by the Reavers. So, suddenly this army is not looking so hot anymore. Still 52 pop, but I mean, these are easy pickings. Spirit support, ready to go. Uh, doesn't have the power, however. Uh-oh. Nice dodge on the shot. 
Two star hunter is gonna die. Oh man, that is not good. Extraction should have been used on that, but too late. Oh, and even the locust is gonna stay here to die. Could these two locusts kill the base? Maybe. Maybe. There's a chance. Uh, the Marauder is coming around though. So maybe if the rest of the army joins up, uh, they can be saved and the base can be killed. Okay, here comes Spirit Support. That's nice. That's gonna keep this alive. But here comes Yogi Spartan Seb's army. Let's see what happens. His glassing beam is ready. But his base is dead. Oh man, did he just lose the... Did you just lose the shield? Oh my god, that's so expensive. That brother's so weak. Yeah, I gotta say, Avamush has a really sophisticated army right now, so... No longer so weak like the previous one with the grunts. Uh, Eradication's gonna be around, but so is Teleport. I wouldn't be too worried about this. Hey, let's get the menu soundtrack, yeah? Oh, we got the beam! Huh? He's not gonna teleport out of it? What? I mean, these guys are gonna get healed back up, but they need to fight to do so, or let the engineer do the work slowly. And... Avamor still has a population lead, so I guess he should try to do some damage. Guess he's going for the later phases of this game. But if you get can get some nice teleports with Locust uh, vehicle level one, that would be good. If you can go full Ro Locust Reaver in the next uh, ten minutes, that can be really potent. Spartan Sep has reached tier 3 and is starting to make graves. He's probably getting rifle barrels soon enough. Uh, does he have a... I don't see a war council. Oh, he, he's got it, he's got it. Here. I don't know. Abamush is alarmingly passive. Uh, he's got a scout over there, so maybe he's looking to... gateway his way through to this? work but the spirit support ready so if he saves up a lot of money he could technically teleport uh, teleport twice even use a beam and get spirit support that would be really strong upgrade the gen hopefully he's gonna take care of that and yeah he does have a lot of money now so looking good now is the time to do such plays Yeah, this base is heavily defended. It's just not gonna happen. So, reinforcements maybe? Oh, it's going tier 3, what? And getting an next generator. Before even this one is upgraded. Uh, so, I don't know, that's unnecessary. So, I got 4. Don't need a 5th generator when you have that many nodes. Even with Shipmaster you don't need that. Oh, chosen.
Is he expanding his pop limit? Well, immediately fills it up as well. I'm getting a blister back, that's nice. Good idea. Well, the other guard is permanently cloaked now. So we can definitely go and kill the mini bases. They're still not upgraded, man. Oh my god, how many extractors? Six? Don't tell me there's more in the back. <laughs> Six extractors! Stutter here. Oh, that's not good. Well, are they gonna make a move? Okay, I think that's the move we've all been waiting for. Chosen's gonna be like, yeah, I'm soloing this. <laughs> Some units everywhere in case of teleports. Wish we could get rid of the lag spikes, that's pretty bad. That is really bad. Players are going for max pop. And then what? Okay, six generators upgraded now. Oh, don't tell me he's got a seventh generator. Oh, man. Max on scarabs, man. Three simultaneous scarabs. It'll be fine. Oh, oh, oh! There's something happening here. Oh, the thief doing so much damage! Holy crap! Lost almost everything in one fell swoop. Why would he attack before his uh, tier three upgrade is done? Oh my goodness! He didn't even pop the shields. We've been waiting for 10 minutes to have a fight, but a hey, tier 3 upgrade is 10 seconds away, let's attack. <laughs>
But Spawn 7 is one happy chap. He's got 7k in pack. It's more than even Abimush has. Getting the extra base upgrades now. And we're probably gonna be here a while. Maybe it's time to use that hero. This isn't good. No one's attacking. If we get to 45 minutes, we have to call the game. Especially if they play like this. Like, this is not good. a mass teleport? I would hope so. Oh yeah. Oh, they gave it away! Oh man. They gave it away. Spawn to set a counter attack? That's insanity. Is he gonna try to eradicate this? He's got nothing to lose. Look at these rage, they're cheering up the locusts like they're nothing to scorchers. I'm just walking right through it. This is gonna be one bombastic ending to this game. Oh no, he's using. Oh, there's actually no detection here whatsoever. All these units are cloaked and the blister backs aren't able to shoot. He might be able to kill this base actually while uh where is where is part of Seth? He's gonna try to beam this to death. Uh, his main is holding just fine, the heal is super valuable on the main bases, and Abimush has to teleport out now down to 62 pop. This is the time for EOD's part of Seth to counterattack. Oh, more scorches going down and locusts just blow up like they're nothing. Yeah, I don't think this is the right comp here. Death Ritual in the chat saying no one ever should have 8 generators. I completely agree. Yeah, I was whining earlier that uh, that's way too much. Especially because he has the generators, like... Ah, oh, sorry, the power no He has power nodes, he doesn't need that much power. Like, look at him. 6k, what is he gonna do with this? Now he has no buildings to remake all this from. And he's just gonna lose his base, because he can't repop. And with that, probably the tournament, especially if the other base dies. <laughs> Honor Guard trying to do stuff but can't because everything is cloaked. He's not a detector himself. Great fight! Oh, the eradication covering all of them! Teleports is gonna save him, but I mean, they're so damaged already. Actually, the. Uh... Okay, they're gonna heal back uh, from the extract. 
It's, I thought it was a teleport. It's an extract, actually. So that was a pretty official counter, but meanwhile, this base is getting shredded. Navamar suddenly no longer has resources. He's got a lot of power. <laughs> Can't do anything with it, though. Oh, the other guard has fallen! Very volatile fight between the Braves here. They have a lot of DPS, but not that much health. And that's gonna be it. Here these buttons have moves on. And Abimash is out. <laughs>